What's poppin' Slick Block? It's your boy, D Wise Gamer, and today we're gonna play with odd uh, words. And today we're gonna be playing some more Divinity Original Sins Enhanced Edition for the Xbox One. Last time we were playing, we uh went and talked to the dude who charmed an orc. Got some more party members. Mm. Broke into someone's house, I think. Uh, oh, something I'd end up doing off camera. Alright. But quite a few things I end up doing off camera. Excuse me. First thing I did, alright, which is going to be the most obvious, is I redid my character for one simple reason. I didn't like the fact that both of them had witchcraft. Witchcraft. So now I made my knight a witchcraft knight or. A black knight, I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> and I made my assassin a fire and earth elementalist. Well, she's not an elementalist, she's still an assassin, but instead of witchcraft and lightning, I gave her fire touch. And uh, so I gave her pyromancy. Paro, Kinesis, Earth, fuck it. Geomancer, yeah. Pyrokinetic and Geomancer. Originally, she was Richcraft and Geomancer. And my guy was a. Uh, Richcraft and Pyrokinetic. I'm just gonna keep them witchcraft this time. And that way she'll be she'll be our fire earth and he'll be our water wind. Uh, I broke into this room right here. Alright. Well, after I sent him up to the library. In fact, I'm probably about to do it again. What? Oh, it's you! What news? My dear girl, my darling adopted daughter, my pride and joy. I introduced her to my library when she was a girl. She quickly proved that the preconceptions we humans hold of orcs as savage beasts are patently false. If you're looking for something special, just ask. She knows every book by heart. Papa's smart little cookie. <laughs> that depends. Ah, the library. Marvelous. Yeah, uh... I robbed everything that was in here. So I'm in between compassionate and heartless at the moment. I'm bold, I'm considerate, I'm renegade for life. I'm altruistic. Altruistic, altruistic, I don't know. Independent and I'm romantic. Romantic, independent, altruistic, compassionate, renegade, considerate, bold. Wait, she's bold? 
Oh, Oh, also I gave my homie here uh, a hood and some armor. Gave her a hood. I let her dreads hang free. And I gave my nigga a cap. Now we'll talk to this lady right here. You stole your robe. Back, demon. Back or I'll... Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Medora, you lummox. A thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear's edgier than a dodecahedron these days. Good I'll tell you, it sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain Wartruce my regards next time you see him. Wartruce, that's how you say it. Who did you say you were? I don't recognize you from the Academy. You wouldn't. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Oh, yeah? We're Westies, huh? The West Side? Retired. Or so the Order keeps trying to tell me, but never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. I haven't heard of another source under being a scientist I seal. What are you doing here, but a bird da da da? Why is this so oh, must have turned it up by accident. Alright. Heavens hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. to concerns myself with such things. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. Good There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. But ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. New heights, you say? What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases and a knee knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. You said you're gonna put their horns in their briefcases. That was an interesting threat. I south seeking the Legion's help, only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward. And even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. Mm. Orcs attack your village. How did you manage to escape? By the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villagers when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. Explosives! I love explosives. I managed to wrench free of my captain's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. Now hold up now. You said you fleed? Oh, what's your next plan of attack? Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. You'll be concerned enough when you realize that Correct. reward money won't be lining your pockets. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. What well, is a source since I still have you failed? More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. Mm. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our master Thaleron for another. 
Who's still running? And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Friend. You mean cats? Cats? Ah. Tell me about this feline menace. You don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. Tell me about Mayor Cecile. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the mayor's a decent sort, even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his own nose. Once or twice. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. It's true. He's looking for a staff. I suspect an illegal sauce artifact or substance is at the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I haven't technically been a I know all of that. I don't have the authority to interrogate him. So you know, Thalerian? 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 Tell me about this man. Fella seems like a humble doctor, but I bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. Thalerian. That's the 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 let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions. Well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? That is suspicious. Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. Well, that's your proposition. You help us here in Sicil, and we'll help you take back your home village thereafter. Too challenging the fabled wizard. So it's go but it to seems me. You've got all the help you need, haven't you? More's the pity. We could have beheaded a hundred source yetis in the name of the order. Secrets, the likes of which I doubt you could even fathom, old friend. Bear dot. Heard any good tales, my friend? I need you to leave the party for now. Fine, my friend. But I will stay far away from the screech woman. Perhaps among the crowd at the alehouse is best. Yes. You do just that. What can I do for you, Sauce Hunter? Did I ever talk to John? So you're just hanging I don't think I did. in, are you? Waiting for what, exactly? I'll tell you. Hunter's greetings. So, have you changed your mind about venturing forth, shield to shield, against the sauce menace? You wouldn't, m see, I there's been a what they I can't by the sky. I mean, well, I need, I well, you know, another sauce hunter on the team will make us all the more formidable against this wicked magic. Welcome aboard, Medora. Medora. Uh, like Madara, but Medora. That's the spirit. Now we got three swords in our own <clears throat> That is, how can I help you? Myself with such things. You'll be concerned enough when you Damn, some dugongs. You nearly startled me out of my boot. Ask away, my friend. Ask away. Always helps to know a thing or two about who's covering your back against the. It's no coincidence the order retired me. Or tried to, anyhow. To such an aptly named little town. Way back when, the settlement was chartered as a stronghold for source hunters to keep watch over the borders of the Phantom Forest. Don't let the name fool you, though. These days, the forest is little more than a smattering of trees and ruins. A perfect posting for an old bull or dotage like yours truly. <laughs> In the days of old, though, the forest played host to source devils of every make and kind. Hunter's Edge was a settlement of source hunters tasked with watching over the border of the forest and putting down anything smacking a source that might creep out of it. By now, it's been centuries since anything more dangerous than a badger has come out of those woods. By and by, the source hunters moved out and regular folks set up shop. But the town's charter requires that at least one of our kind remain to keep the watch. 
Come now, Alistair. Who's that? Surely you've met your match. I seen you. Twice. It's time for you to leave my goddamn party. You need you to stay here. But, but what will you do if a pack of wild necromantic wolfhounds attacks? Well, I reckon I'll grab a pint of the King Crab Inn until you luck come to your senses. Medora salutes you, comrades, until we meet again. Heard any good tales, my friend? Uh, yeah, I'm good for your service. Daughter seems about to leap up and grasp you in her arms, but thinks better of it and silently stands at attention. Such things. Is this gonna give me a hug? Or is that the mall me? Either way, I will be totally willing. So yeah, this is some of the armor I got from the uh bear um bear. Mayor's fuck it, I don't know. A source hunter! I'd like to report some dark magic. Only tainted hearts could tip as miserably as this lot. <laughs> so you're a waitress, are you? Been at the King Crab nearly ten years now, personally. Seen every character you can imagine, from bums to wizards, pass through these doors for a pint and a place to rest. They say he's pretty <laughs> So, where were you on the night of Jake's murder? I think I'm one of the last folks to hear him alive. That awful scream has been ringing in my ears ever since. And with the room where it all happened still under quarantine, we have a constant reminder of exactly what happened. Continue. That's the question, isn't it? What exactly did happen? We all thought it was Esmeralda who checked into that room, and the Duke that followed her in. I was washing up and nudging the last of the lushes out of the door when a cloaked woman rushed in right past me. I never got a good look at her, damn my eyes, but I figured the way she disappeared that she was visiting one of the lodgers. Lucky for the perpetrators, I was rinsing bottles in the back when the terrible deed took place and saw nothing more. I'm not proud to say I ducked under the counter and damn well stayed there till I heard Ivad fling that door open, but I was paralyzed with fright. Okay, okay, seems reasonable. Alright. Unsinkable. Oh, I thought I said unskinnable. Unskinnable sound. Let's talk. Oh, never saw you in the King Crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. Who are you? I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. Tell me about the ship you were on. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. They say he's privy to ancient and arcane secrets, the likes of which I doubt. The moment could... I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. You were the only survivor. So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Surely you've met your match once or twice. Ha! The closest I've got to my match is when I linger over long. That's sad. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Maxine.
Maxine, you said. The mayor's cat. The mayor's darling pet. So gentle. So fair a feline. The grace of her whiskers. The subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. So she dyes her coat. Wait, she dyes her coat? Is that naturally black? What are you trying to tell me here, Sam? She likes me. I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I have serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But for some reason, she is not to be swayed. That's one of the questions for you. By all means. What are your take on the undead? People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do test them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. That's fucked up, Sam. It's real fucked up. But can't we have nine lives as well? And besides, eight of your nine lives are just luck. Can you tell me more about the orcs? Oh, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best anchovy fisher in the world he was. A loss to us all. Your head's grown more swollen than Poor guy. Right from underneath him. Suck. No one's watching me, right? You know, watching me. No one saw anything. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't see her. Whatever happened to that trip? Ah, pointless chatter with strangers does so thrill me. How did you know? Please continue interrupting my drink if you'd be so kind. Who are you? How curious of you to show interest in a lonesome stranger at the bar. Let me answer by saying that who I am is hardly any of your business. And anyone with an ounce of tact would have known that already. What can you tell me about the fabulous five? I suppose I can. And I could. But why would I turn my attention away from this whiskey when Mendius right outside is simply panting with excitement about the whole affair? You're a bitch, sir. Zimbladorix! Me? You mean you don't recognize me? Well... You must live under a very large, very heavy rock, for I'm the finest wizard in Rivello. Strange. Never heard of you myself. Yes, that is strange. Strange indeed. But it's a strange world we live in, isn't it? A strange and magical world. And Regionis Regentum. And what's that supposed to accomplish? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out indeed. If I'm as good as they say I am, I am, you'll have sprouted a pair of long purple ears in the next hour. Oh, how I do love a tasty aubergine in summertime. Well, good luck with that, my friend. Traveller, and may the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard of the revelation? Yourself. What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the Conduit's eyes, and only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. 
Relevation. Relevation. You haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Yeah, sorry, that's... That's how I feel about your, uh, preaching. Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus. Continue. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the conduit. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess where all living souls are naturally inclined. Mm -hmm. Sounds like bullshit to me, sir. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. What do you mean by the one way? For this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silver Glen, where all may be revealed. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Okay, okay. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Yep, he's either brainwashed or gullible. But I thought they'd been banished after the death of the Source King. Ancient evils are like corpses among necromancers' girls. Sooner or later they get uprooted. And usually they're a damn sight more ugly than they were in the first place. Praise be that Ahu the wizard built those newfangled weapons of his. Sai Seal would have long been overrun by undead if it weren't for them contraptions. I swear I saw a lady in red upon the beach, but everyone laughs and says I'll see mermaids next. Hmm. Leave me, I have a job to do. Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. Your books are expensive, my lady. Mm, okay, but well we gotta sell some shit. Here, take this and this. And then, uh, okay.
take it you're a traveling merchant. I am. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home, for a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Let's discuss your wares. You have seen them, have you not? Is anything amiss? You seem to have a lot of items related to witchcraft. Do you have an affinity for the darker arts? A ponchon, perhaps, yes. I have the blood of sorcerers in my veins, and between you and me, the blood of sorcerers, too. The power of sorcery is so very alluring, you know. But let us change topics, for should hunters catch a whiff of my inclinations, they wouldn't hesitate to kill me where I stand. Mm, if hunters found you, they wouldn't hesitate to kill you where you stand. Huh? Glad none of them nasty hunters are around. <laughs> Am I right? Because you are careful, madam. I am a hunter. But as luck would have it, I am not a zealot. Neither am I. Be advised, though, not to give in to your inclinations. Other hunters may not be so forgiving. Gods have mercy. I talked openly about sorcery in front of a source hunter. What a fool I am. Thank you, O oh compassionate soul that you are, to treat me so leniently. I never have and never will really dabble in sorcery. On that you have my word. On my life, I swear it. So let's discuss your wares. No need to worry, source hunter dearest. You'll find no sorcery here. Only honest God's witchcraft. How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. You ain't gonna lie to me. I'll take my leave. You don't gotta lie to me. Oh, something else I did was I bought some, uh... Hmm... Warrior skill books? I'm not upgrading my, uh, warrior skills, so... Uh, I don't should be able to use any of them. Yeah, y'all leave. Leave! So I can steal! Save. We'll have none of that, you hear? Damn. Quick load. Bitch caught me. I let you get a... Get the... Uh. I'm gonna need you to go to the other side, madam, so I can steal this painting. That's how I get my money. I'll stop you from getting money. Are you trying to stop me from getting money? What the fuck is this? What else is this right here? Huh? Huh. That's locked. That's open. That's, that's locked. Blocking me, damn it. No, fuck. Okay, okay. We're doing good. 
enjoying this. And locked. Someone was sick and dying in there, I believe. Alright, uh... As I said, we're gonna start the investigation, so let's talk to this guy. Legionnaire! Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. Spoken to Arius. Let me inside. Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. And go, oh, I guess. Guess is where we ended? Uh yeah. Have y'all enjoyed this episode? Uh, starting the investigation? Leave a like and comment, tell me about the episode you enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like and comment anyway, tell me anything I can improve, you enjoy your future viewing experience. This is DOI's Gamer with Slick Block Mafia. Uh, subscribe to join Slick Block. The end of time. The end of time. Huh, alright. I'll leave that one as it is. Yeah, subscribe to Slip Block and uh, Deuces SBM. The WG is out. Peace.